Hey, welcome to the Mentored Engineer. In this video, I wanna to talk to you about a planetary gear system that you've probably been using for years and never knew it was even there. I'm talking about pencil sharpeners. Now, pencil sharpeners are great, especially the mechanical con. I mean, you can see all the stuff, you can, you can feel the way that the, uh, the pencil's being uh, sharpened. So, just a great mechanism. And let's explore that a little bit more. Here, let's first open it and, and you get to pencil sharp. Well, that was embarrassing. So the first thing you'll notice is that you have the arm mechanism uh, connected right to the handle. So you're inputting on your arm. Your stationary part is gonna be your ring gear and there actually is no sun gear. There's no purpose for it anyway. Uh, especially when you wanna get down to a, uh, a fine point on your pencil, you really don't have the space for it. And as you can see here, if you look real closely, the two planetary gears are very close to each other. All right, so let's let's look at the numbers. I've already counted the teeth on both the planet and the ring gear, and I came out with 24 ring teeth, and at first I came out with 12 planetary teeth, uh, but that would leave me with a sun of zero, which isn't a bad thing, because there is no sun. But the problem with that is uh, you end up with a sun that's zero, and therefore the two planets would be meshing and if the two planets are meshing, you're not gonna get any motion. So I went back and counted the teeth on the planetary gears again, and there's 11 teeth on the planets and uh, 12 cutting teeth also associated with that planet. Uh, so one thing you'll notice is that as you're turning this around, you will actually be cutting in the opposite direction that you are turning the handle. You also notice here that the planetary uh, cutting teeth are uh, helical in nature and they're they're pretty sharp you know i wouldn't want to get my hand in there all right so let's get into the math a little bit so as i said we have 24 ring teeth we have 11 planet teeth and if we do the calculations here we find out that our sun theoretically would have two teeth now does a two-tooth gear work absolutely not uh <laughs> you could uh, once it stopped engaging with the planet there'd be nothing to engage it with you know, in my mind, you need at least, you know, eight teeth to have a gear that works at all uh, for transmitting any type of power load. But that's okay, we don't have a sun here, so a 2-2 sun in theory is acceptable. So we see here that the ring gear has 24 teeth, the sun has two, subtract those and divide it by the number of the gears we have, two, we get an integer of 11. So it would theoretically work if we had a 2 tooth sun. So to calculate this, it's a little bit different simply because we're gonna be calculating the theoretical speed of the sun. And since it doesn't exist, that's kind of just weird. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our universal motion equation. We're gonna input one turn on the carrier and keep the ring steady and find out how many rotations there are on the sun. And from the equation here, we find out that the, the sun goes around 13 times. Now that's pretty fast. Uh, comparatively. Uh, and then we can find out using this other equation what the speed of the planets are and we find out that it's negative 1.18 revolutions which is really um, a whole turn and then another 65 degrees of motion. So looking at this little video here we can see that as I rotate the crack one time it sure does go around uh, one and about 65 degrees. So if we want to find out how many cuts are being done on the pencil, we just multiply the rotation speed of the planets times the number of teeth in the cutting wheel. And that is uh, 1.18 times uh, 12 teeth. And we actually end up getting 14.2 cuts per input revolution. And basically speaking, the more cuts you can get per revolution, the finer the cut will be. Well, that's all for this episode of The Mentored Engineer. Appreciate you watching, and please be sure to like, share, and subscribe this video. Thank you.